here. Back with another episode of my TARDIS tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be making the heart of the TARDIS. As was seen in The Parting of the Ways, Rose actually like looked into the heart of the TARDIS and it actually like put the time vortex in her mind or something um, and made her become the bad wolf entity, quote unquote, which um, like saw all of time and space and basically had control over it as well to a certain extent, um, but it also, because that was way too powerful for a human mind to handle, or even a Time Lord actually, it actually killed her, and then ultimately killed the Doctor as well, um, causing him to regenerate when he took the energy into him. Uh, but yeah, I've basically recreated that in my TARDIS world. But if we come in here, we just gotta go to the engine room, because that's where I've done this. Um, and this trap door right here, once you pull it open, will actually reveal the heart of the TARDIS. So let's just open that. And you can see these particles start up, and pretty much immediately, some particles start coming around me. And it indicates that I'm now the bad wolf. So even if I close this, and the particles go away, um, these will keep following me for three minutes. And after three minutes, I'm actually going to die. So that's about how long it took for like Rose to start kind of feeling the pain of the time vortex in her head. And while I have this bad wolf effect, I actually have some neat little perks. So if we bring in something like a zombie, and it tries to attack us, is it, is it going to? <laughs> you can see we're actually not losing any health, and that's because we're actually like immortal as the bad wolf. Um, but then if we were to hit it, we also can kill pretty much anything instantly. So this does come with some perks, just like in the episode with Rose. And any second now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just died. And it says there in death message, Tebow 2 fell out of the world because their mind was overloaded by the time vortex. And I really like that. I was able to do a uh, custom death message. So yeah, so just like what would have happened for Rose had the Doctor not saved her, um, I died because my mind was overloaded by the Time Vortex, and even if you're a Time Lord in this world, you will still die and be forced to regenerate like the Doctor did. So how it all works is actually just right behind here. <laughs> but um, yeah, it all starts right here with summoning a pig, and killing the pig as well. But basically, the pig is actually the entity inside here that you're looking at. Um, so, execute if the block at the coordinates. This is the coordinates of the trapdoor. So, if it's a trapdoor, which is open equals false, because uh, actually this counts as open right now, and it's when we do like click on it again that it'll actually say that it's closed because you know when you place it down it's going to be on the floor, and then that's open. So it's waiting when open is false, so when you do this, which from where we're standing looks like we're opening it, um, when you do that, it will turn on this comparator, and then it'll turn on this command block here, which does execute unless entity at e name equals TARDIS heart. It will summon a pig um, right above that command block with no AI, custom name visible zero, and the custom name TARDIS heart, so execute unless just meaning like unless it already exists um it'll go ahead and summon it if it does already exist it won't just so there aren't two but it also is like silent and invulnerable so you can't kill it you can't hear it um and you'll also see that you can't see it because we've got a uh, invisibility effect here which is just effect give tardis heart invisibility and then just a high number and then true to hide the particles this is repeat always active, so yeah, you can't see it, you can't hear it, you can't attack it, but it's an entity and it's there. And there is a reason for it being there, and you'll see what that is, but once you close, quote unquote, the uh, trapdoor, this uh, redstone torch will turn on, which will kill the TARDIS heart entity, and then a moment later, via this uh, repeater, it will do execute as at P, the nearest player, at themselves and it'll kill any items within a distance of less than 10. Do the same for experience orbs and that's just so that the pig's drops uh, won't show up and it won't kind of ruin the illusion um, if you were to open and close that. Uh, 
But yeah, then we have some effects just having to do with the heart. We have the invisibility I already showed you. We have TP, TARDIS heart, to the coordinates which are just inside the trapdoor. Um, and why I didn't just summon it there in the first place is because if we had, you would see it kind of flicker and the pig would show up for a second before it gains the invisibility effect. So again, just to improve the illusion, uh, I made it summon over here and then get teleported. And the pig also gets this particle effect, so execute at, at E name equals TARDIS heart, run particle dust, and then these ones just make it kind of a white color, um, at its coordinates, these are the deltas, and then we have speed, and a count of 50, and then force makes it visible for all players. So now on to what actually gets you the little perks and then gets you killed. So we have give score and tag. And basically we have execute if entity at a tag equals bad wolf scoreboard players add at a tag equals bad wolf bad wolf one and basically what that is we have the tag bad wolf and basically it's giving that player a score of one on a bad wolf scoreboard so you just do like scoreboard objectives add bad wolf dummy and then you just press enter this would then give you a score on that if you have the tag basically and then this is where you actually get the tag so execute as at p tag equals inside distance equals less than 20 so less than 20 blocks away from this command block so that's why you might want to put this kind of in your engine room right with wherever the heart of the TARDIS is um, add at s anchored eyes facing entity at e name equals TARDIS heart this whole thing is basically the same as the Weeping Angel command just testing for if you're looking at it. Eyes anchored, feet positioned uh, in front of it, rotated as positioned, uh, facing uh, away from it. If entity at S distance equals 0 0.15 or less than that. And this is that number which with the Weeping Angel video I mentioned could be like adjusted to show like how much you need to be looking at it. So like with the Weeping Angels, I made it 0.104 or something um, in order to make you be able to like detect it when the angel just kind of like was in anywhere on your screen. But with this, if you move it down to this, you'll have to look directly at the pig. Basically, you have to pretty much have your crosshairs on it. But if all that is met, it'll run tag at s add bad wolf. And then, as I said, when you have the bad wolf tag, you're going to get the bad wolf score. And because this is repeat and always active, it's counting up at about 20 times a second. Um, and over here, we have the effects and particles and the overall perks. So we have a particle, which is just execute at, at a tag equals bad wolf, run particle dust. And then this color is pretty much the same one I use for regeneration um, to kind of give that look. And then at their coordinates, the deltas and then the speed is zero count is two and then force just makes it to where it appears for all players and then these two refer to the perk that you get with being the bad wolf so we have effect give at a tag equals bad wolf you get resistance um very high amount of time actually that's pretty much infinite resistance right there um so i'm pretty sure it just goes to infinity at that point and then this is the highest possible level of resistance to make you pretty much invincible. And then true just hides the particles. And then this is something likewise with the strength effect. So you get those perks, but obviously it's a limited thing. You only get three minutes to live before you die. And this is how it runs that. So this is kills the bad wolf after the score elapses. So that score that was counting up um, 20 times a second. When that gets to 3600, something's gonna happen. So, execute if score at a tag equals bad wolf, limit equals one, bad wolf, matches 3600. Um, and why 3600? Because if it's running at 20 times a second, this is what corresponds to three minutes exactly. It'll do run, kill, at a tag equals bad wolf when it gets to three minutes. So, the entity gets killed. And then we have scoreboard players reset at a tag equals bad wolf, bad wolf. So this bad wolf refers to their scoreboard if you're confused, and this one's their tag. They just have to be called the same thing, you don't necessarily have to, but it kills them, it resets their score so that that timer gets set back to zero, um, and then it 
does this tell raw actually, which is tell raw at a text because their mind was overloaded by the time vortex. And this is to simulate kind of the death message. Um, so by default, you're going to have the death message um, tell out of the world pop up because that's what happens when you get killed by a command block. So basically, I did this onto the end of it basically. So tell raw makes it to where it's not going to like say who sent it or anything so that it actually will just look like just straight up text in the chat. From where you can see in the chat from earlier, it literally just looks like Table 2 fell out of the world and then immediately after because their mind was overloaded by a time vortex. So not exactly, but it kind of looks like it's kind of continuing on from this message. Um, additionally, I believe there's a game role you can do to actually disable death messages. So you could do that and then have this and have it say like something more direct like Tiba 2's mind was overloaded by the time vortex or they were killed by it. Um, but I didn't do that so I just kind of made it look like it's adding on to the existing message. Um, and then finally it has to remove the tag. So tag at a remove bad wolf. And that's pretty much everything. So to recap. We summon a pig when that trap door is open, quote unquote, and the pig is called um, Tardis Heart. It is silent and vulnerable, yada yada, and it's summoned above here so that it can then be teleported in so that you don't see it like flicker on the screen. Um, we have particles to make it look like it's got big shiny Tardis Heart particle things. <laughs> um, and then we give it an invisibility. And then we give any player who looks at it um, the tag bad wolf. And then we give the player with the tag bad wolf the score bad wolf, which is constantly going up by one every 20th of a second. That player is getting killed once it reaches 3600 or three minutes. Um, it's resetting their score. It's giving them a little death message. It is removing their tags. And all the while, while they have the tag, it was giving them this particle to kind of give them like a regeneration kind of look. Um, it's giving them very, very high and infinite resistance as well as strength to give them those crazy perks that Rose had almost like godlike abilities, honestly, um, before she is killed. So, yeah, this is definitely a very short burst of power. You're going out in a blaze of glory, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I'll show you it one last time. So here one last time is the bad wolf. So if we open this, and if we look away like really quickly, then we don't get it, but the moment we look at these particles dead on, we get these ones around us signaling that we are now the bad wolf, um, and we have our little perks. So if I just do like summon like a ravager, because those are quite powerful, um, it cannot hurt. It is trying now. And look at that. My hearts aren't even twitching, like it cannot touch me but I can just like one shot it with my own fist. <laughs> so I am quite powerful, but when that timer reaches three minutes, I'm going to die. So I'm about to die from this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've just died. I fell out of the world because my mind was overloaded by the time vortex. And that's something I've got to fix. When you die inside the TARDIS, you don't get the uh, inside tag removed from you. I've got to fix that, honestly. But uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. This has been my video on the Heart of the TARDIS and the Bad Wolf. That is all really though. I've been Tebo2. Be sure to subscribe to follow my Instagram, Tebo2IT, to follow my Twitter, which is also Tebo2IT, to join my Discord, and I'm just gonna remind you again, we have another contest coming up this Sunday. So yeah, <laughs> join my Discord also if you want to be a part of that. Another t contest to get a lovely TARDIS interior such as this one added. Um, the theme will obviously be different because we have a different one each time. But yeah, I think it'll be fun. I've been Tebow too. Have a nice day. Goodbye.